to another video on my page. So today I filmed myself doing Lori's makeup and we did this really deep, dark, gray, black look. I don't usually use black, but I love it. And we did lots and lots and lots of lashes, a beautiful pinky nude lip, and so much highlighter you could see her from Mars. So if you want to see how to get this super sultry, sexy look, just keep watching and we will see you in the next video. We love you. Bye. Hello my love, so let's just jump right into it. Don't mind me, I'm not going to be showing my ugly bare face. So here's my model, Miss Lori, and we have already started prepping and priming her face with moisturizer. And now we're going to go in with Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I just like to put it on the back of my hand and use a brush. And I'm going to apply this all over her lid so that I can cover up any of the darkness or any of the veins that she has in her eye. And this is also going to partially work as a primer, but I'm going to go over that with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer just for a little bit of extra protection because I am going to pack the crap out of her lid with some color today. Next I'm going to go in, I'm using this new Makeup Revolution palette that I got. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's all these neutrals. So I am just taking a beautiful mid-tone brown, just a few shades darker than her skin tone on a big fluffy brush, and I'm rocking it in the socket. I'm doing windshield wiper motions and blending back and forth. This is going to be the perfect transition color for how dark and smoky this eye look is going to get. As you can see here, I am blending that color literally even down portion of her nose, and that is to ensure a beautifully blended look at the end you will see. Okay, so now I'm going to take a cream color. I'm putting this on the brow bone right underneath the eyebrow, and this is going to help give a little bit of separation between that smokiness. Here's how we do this look. We're switching to a denser bristled brush, going into a deeper, darker color. We're going to work this right there in the socket and in the outer corner of the eye. I'm also going to start dragging this across the lid. It is important, important, important in smoky eyes that you build the colors gradually. So after we use that beautiful deep chocolate brown, now we're going to go in with a black and a new brush. Make sure to tap it off because you're going to get black fallout all over your face. And we are working this on the outer corner. We are keeping this nice and low, not going too high in the crease, and we are working it across the lid. This is where it's going to start to look scary, but just trust me, keep building and blend. That's what we do. So we build a color and we blend it out. This is how you get that really professional, perfectly faded look. So every time you build a little bit more color, make sure you're blending out the edges. I promise you, this comes together at the end. I know you're really wondering how this is all pulled together, but just bear with me. Blend, add, blend, ladies. <laughs> Even Lori's not so sure how this is going to go. She says she trusts me. I don't know if I trust me. Back to blending we go. So we're just taking the excess on that brush and we're just sweeping it towards the inner portion of the eye. And after we do that, we're going to take our flat brush, a charcoal color from that same palette, and we are going to pack it on the inner corner and the inner one-third of the lid. We're going to just do padding motions and pulling motions to pack this color on as densely as we can and this is going to bring a lot of dimension to the eye because those matte colors make it look so flat so by doing this we're going to bring light and shape into the eye and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that fluffy brush that had the matte black on it and I'm going to go over where that lid color and those dark colors meet just to make sure it's a beautiful transition one sweep across the top to make sure everything is its final blend and then I do this trick underneath the eye where I take an under eye cream or a moisturizer on a q-tip blend it underneath the eye as this face does not have any makeup on it and then we can just pull off that excess fallout with a clean q-tip boop it's perfect I love this trick and it's super great for sensitive eyes Lori's face has already been seriously, seriously moisturized, but it has sucked it all up. So we're using this primer mist from NYX, and then I'm going to go over it with this Sheer Envy Illuminating Primer from Hard Candy, and I am going to rub that in the T-zone. If you have dry skin, this is such an amazing, affordable primer. You seriously need to try it. This is going to brighten up your face like nobody's business. And then I'm going to go in with this new Tarte Gel Foundation. Holy full coverage, baby, okay? So I just take this on my finger. I whack it all across the face. You do not need this much. I realized very quickly that I have no idea why I added so much. But I'm going to take my wet 
or damp beauty blender I actually have the Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques. It's it's my favorite by far. And I'm going to pat all of that in. And I love this because it has so much moisture in it. It's perfect for people who have dry skin. Again, I'm going to take my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. And I'm going to do this right underneath the eyes, on the forehead, down the nose, on the chin. I'm bringing light and dimension back to a flat face. And if you watched as I did the foundation, I did not put any foundation right underneath the eyes because the eyes can seriously cake up in no amount of time flat. Now I'm going to cut that corner of the eyeshadow to make it look super sharp. This is how I do it. I just use concealer. You can be super crappy at blending. And by using this technique, you can look like a goddess. Now I'm going to take these beautiful shimmery colors. One's a light peach one and one is like a champagne one. I'm mixing them together. I'm putting them on the innermost corner and pulling it back onto the lid. Again, just adding that really nice fade. It's going to bring a lot of brightness to the eye. I added whatever was left on the brush underneath the brow bone. It didn't do anything. Let's be real. Then I'm taking this big face brush, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to pat, pat, pat all over the face, drag it down the neck because that's just the habit that I have, and I'm going to set the face ever so lightly. Again, Laura is really dry skin. We're just doing a light dusting to make sure everything is set. Now I'm taking this NYX Contour Palette. I took that banana color and the lightest color, put it on a brush, and I'm just pushing it on the underneath of her eyes because that is where anything is going to crease if it's going to crease on your face. Those under eyes crease like a mofo. I'm just mixing together a random assortment of those bronzers and contour colors to bring some more dimension back to the face, but I just gave some dimension. It looks crazy in this lighting, but I promise it's not that bad. I'm using this Bare Minerals Ready Blush in the Faux Pas. It's a beautiful pink color and it's perfect for Lori's undertone. This is by Femme Couture. It says it's a baked bronzer, but let's be real. This is a dupe for MAC's Soft and Gentle. And we are going to go ham on the highlight because Lori has dry skin and we want to make it look like she has dewy skin. So we went there in the little C right around the eye on the top of the cheekbone, on the sides of her temples, down to her eyebrows, down her nose, and the top of her lip. And we're going to add some more. <laughs> I'm going to take this Milani brow gel. You can use any brow gel. I'm just trying to get her brow hairs into shape. Lori has two very, very different eyebrows. Let's not hold it against her, okay? It's a very sensitive topic. She doesn't like her eyebrows overly done, so I'm just taking this Laura Geller Baked Brow Powder. It's for blondes, and I'm just filling those suckers in. I'm trying to draw in little hairs because she doesn't like anything harsh, like... An Anastasia pomade dip brow or the brow is she really likes her brow product to be a powder and for it to be feathered so to do the under eye I'm just gonna mix an assortment of darker colors and I'm gonna put that right there up against the lash line and blend it across and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a, a lighter brown color I'm gonna go a little bit underneath that and I'm going to smoke it out by blending the two of them together and kind of dragging them down it's going to make the eyes look big and that's what we want and then I'm gonna take this buxom lipstick it's a mixture between a light pink and a mauve I put some on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to paint that on Lori's lips it's the perfect nudie but pinky color this is the physicians formula eye booster serum liner I just painted on a quick little winged liner just to darken up right there by the lashes and then I used the Tarte lights caramel lashes mascara because this is going to build lashes if you want to have lashes without false lashes this is the way you would go we did end up adding false lashes we used kiss number 11 lashes so that's it this is the final look I hope you guys love it so much we loved it oh I can't wait to film with her again please make sure to subscribe if you like this look and you want to see more from me give me a thumbs up give me a nice comment go find me on Instagram snapchat Facebook you know the drill I'll see you guys in the next video I love you so much thank you for watching bye